Greetings, I'm Eddie's. And I'm Ben. And we're here to bring you a Dumbo movie reaction. It's the fourth Disney animated classic, and you've never seen it. I've never seen it. I've seen the remake, live action versions. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about Dumbo, Dumbo, we, we whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we don't talk about Dumbo. That's excellent, thank you. I'm excited to watch this because this is Ben's favorite Disney animated classic. One of. One of, one of. How, one how of can you many. have one, do you yeah. know what I mean? I'm also a little bit nervous. Is it because it's bad? No, but it's like... Well, then why are you nervous? Nostalgia is key. So it's bad. No! So a little bit of context for this movie. Snow White, massive success. Pinocchio and Fantasia, when they first came out, lost money. Oh. Like a lot of money. Why is that? Because they were so expensive to make and war had just broken out in Europe. So Whoa. they lost a whole part of their audience. So this was the movie they needed to save the Walt Disney Company. I was almost broke. Following Pinocchio and coming into the Fantasia period. Yeah, that about did it. You know, artistic you success, <laughs> financial failure. You know? Certainly an artistic success, it was a magnificent Well, it, 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 some people would uh, would question that too. They made the whole thing on the smallest budget, obviously why it's only 60 minutes long, and it made more money than Pinocchio and Fantasia combined. You're really up in this movie, bro. <laughs> Before we get into the movie, we realised when editing that some of our audience may not know about the controversies surrounding Dumbo. We thought we'd give you the heads up so it's not super random when we start talking about racism in certain parts of our Dumbo movie reaction. Enjoy. Walt Disney presents. That's different. Yeah, I love the opening titles for this. Set the scene straight away. The scene being the circus. I got it. <laughs> Rah, look how many muscles he's got. Is that his shoulders? I was just thinking that he's got biceps in his shoulders. Biceps. Look at the size of his toes. Is that Curry and Dumbo? What's happening? That stalk just point. Yeah. Florida. <laughs> As a kid, I never thought about the fact that it said Florida on the map. <laughs> Are they all babies? Mm-hmm. What's there to be confused about? Why are they dropping babies? This is where babies come from, bro. The sky. That's not how babies are made. I don't know if you know this. Why are we not conceiving the babies? It is, I've never questioned this movie up till now oh. and I'm not gonna start questioning it now. She didn't get a baby. Do you know who that train is? Thomas Tank Engine? <laughs> Who's the train? Casey Jr. Should I know who that is? America, obesity. Am I gonna like this film? Hold up, hold up. What's happening here? Who's this? It's a big old baby, that. Is that a stork? That is a stork. Why does it look different to the other storks? Because this one decided to wear clothes. Must be right around here somewhere. <laughs> I hope. Do you recognize his voice? You're gonna say I did no. say, I, I thought that when it started. You recognize Stork's voice? Yeah, I did. Do you know who it is? Is he in Jungle Book? Nope. Yes. Yeah. Who is he? He um. He sings the. Is he the snake? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so his name is Sterling Holloway. He's in like loads. He's in the Jungle Book. He's the voice of Rogueford the Mouse in the Aristocats. He's mm -hmm. the voice of the Cheshire Cat in Alice in Wonderland, and he's the voice of Winnie the Pooh himself. Wow. Among other things. What a talent. Disney legend. <laughs> This is the place. <laughs> happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. I mean, that makes sense. Oh, when we were born, we should sing happy birthday to that baby. Right, it's literally their one and only birthday. Yeah, that's a good point. You're going to start doing that, going around to the hospitals. 
Does he talk? He's the only like title character in any Disney movie that doesn't speak a single word. How do you feel about that? I think it's great. Using animation to its best. Oh, these are they funny? <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. What a tamper. They're very long though. They're longer than his actual body. Oh. Spoiler alert, right? they need to be big enough to <laughs> fly. Yeah. If this Dumbo don't fly in like the next five minutes, <laughs> this film is too slow. Does Casey Jr. speak? Speaks a little bit, but like, you'll see. It's about to speak in a minute. That's creepy, bro. That's how a train would speak in real life, though, isn't it? It's accurate. It sounded like some sort of horror movie. Here come the roustabouts. Are these the people that are problematic? We work all day, we work all night, we never learn to read or write, we're happy, So just to catch you up so far, they've said we work all day, we work all night, we never we learn, learn to read or write. write. I heard that. But we're happy, we're harmless, browser bouts. Why have they got no faces though? Why does no one talk about this? I... Honestly, don't know. The crows get so much attention, and we'll talk about the crows when we get to the crows. But this, in my opinion, is the truly problematic part of Dumbo. We don't know when we get our pay, and when we do, we throw our pay away. Lovely harmonies, though. Oh, really nice sounding song. Grab that rope, you hairy ape. Are we looking into it too much? Thing is, Yes, this sounds horrible, but is this an accurate representation of what time. of what people in the circus went through? Right. So in that case, does it make it racist or does it make it accurate? By the way, the accuracy is also racist. Did you know what I mean? Yeah. But also, does that, that societal reflection need to happen in a Disney movie about a flying elephant? Was that a question? Maybe it was rhetorical. I don't know. <laughs> Lovely song though, right? Until, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the harmony is lovely. The words, on the other hand, could probably be changed. And the animation. <laughs> is this a parade show, basically? Yeah, it's like the first Disney parade. Don't you think as like they are the originators of the parade, do you not think they should be appearing in the parades more? Like it could have a float with like the different animals like waving out. Maybe one of the floats could be like Mrs. Jumbo in chains, like crying. Cute. Don't you think that Dumbo should have a better ride though? Why do you feel like Dumbo just gets like, oh, it's Dumbo? Well, you could say that, or you could also say he gets representation. He gets a ride in pretty much every single Disney park. And also- What other, no, 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 don't move on. <laughs> what other character gets that? Honestly, Peter what Pan? character? Not in like five parks. Dumbo's in every single park. He's in at least five, I don't know. <laughs> the score is also excellent. Just the way so much of it is just done to music. The animator who animated Dumbo was the same animator in Fantasia animated Chernobog and in Pinocchio, animated Stromboli. Who's Stromboli again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great character. <laughs> but two like menacing big characters, so they went yeah. from that to, to this. this. Yeah, kind of really cool. cool. He does it every single shot. So the animator like kind of does it like a comic book. Not like a comic, more than that. Like a flip book. Animator does it kind of like a flip book. Um, so the animator, so the... <laughs> Oh Ed is. I'm so sorry today. I don't know what. <laughs> it's when you get excited. Like a little <laughs> kid. So the lead animator... Uh, we, this probably won't even go in because whenever I'm just explaining stuff to you, it's boring. Basically, the lead animator... <laughs> the lead animator does like most of the drawings, but then you've got in-between artists who do the in-between bits and then you people... No, got color really? The in-between artists do the in-between bits? <laughs> Hate this kid. 
<gasps> Honestly, the anger. Yeah. Like, that's the least of what he should get. Animals, man. Captivity. So obviously she's in prison, right? Sad times. The shadows of the bars put all these stripes across her and she's swaying side to side. Dumbo swaying side to side. Stripes all across the screen. Like they're both in prison, just different ones. Did you look that up? I saw it in a documentary. Look, I can't eat in peace. There he is, man of the movie. Do you want to know something at this? I don't know if I've ever told you this. You like mice? That's my favourite Disney character. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I feel like you said this to you before and I was bamboozled. Yeah, to be fair, I have said it to you before. You just have no idea I don't know who this person is. that character is. Here he comes now. Hmm. Pretend you don't see him. Oh, there's so many characters in this movie that make me angry. Giving him the cold shoulder. Poor little guy. Oh, I'll do something about this. <laughs> that elephant get up there. She's strong though, isn't it? See what I mean about Timothy Q Mouse though? Right from the jump. He don't, cool. he don't know Dumbo, yet he's like, I got your back, bro. Don't worry. In fact, I'm going to put myself out there for you. Make your star a headliner. Dumbo the Great. He's everything that Jiminy Cricket wishes he oh, was. I don't even talk to you about that character. But do you know what I mean? Why is Jiminy Cricket the one and no one even mentions him? No, that's really true. I've never heard of this person before. Justice for Timothy Q Mouse. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I think he's great, honestly. Yeah, he is. I think it's primarily because he doesn't get a song, maybe. Right. Whereas Jiminy gets when you wish. He doesn't, I didn't know that was his voice. Well, now you do. Structed an enormous pyramid of pachyderms. And now comes the climax. Yeah? What is the climax? <laughs> I like the way he was like, we're gonna get every single elephant balancing on top of each other, on top of a bull. But I need a climax. What's the climax like? Is that not enough for you? Is she gonna just pick up? You underestimate the talent of these elephants, you know? By the tail, prediction, he's gonna go up top. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna fall, right? No one catches him. <gasps> but then what happens is he flaps his ears and he starts to fly. He can fly, he can fly. Wrong I'm movie, singing, I'm but... singing, make him laugh. Oh, him laugh. I'm using Peter Pan. He was, can fly, he can fly, but I was singing the wrong tune. Okay, let's see if this prediction comes true. I'm intrigued. As if that's not enough. <laughs> yeah, all the audience is out there like, Mom, we go. <laughs> Little elephant who will spring from this springboard. Sboring! <laughs> what is his accent? Um, circus. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dumbo! Is this his first time doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm not gonna practice. Nah, just, just do it in it. <laughs> Dumbo! It's a cue! You're wrong, Dumbo! <laughs> he's still good, he's still good. <laughs> <laughs> That's your fault, bro. This is a great show. <laughs> Why are they running away? Now I guess it's a bit too edgy. Would you think this is part of it? Yeah, I'd be like, this is sick. You just need to start like this. <laughs> Out of my way, assassin. Assassin. Her reads are excellent. The airtime though. They're not gonna ride the bike. Not the bike. This is very excessive, Ben. <laughs> I didn't make it. No. <laughs> Are they meant to be falling this whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look how many people there were. 
It was a popular circus. Oh, it went from day to night time, and the whole time it was falling. No, all the lights went out. Ah, oh, well done. I saved it. Yes. <laughs> oh, Dumbo. <laughs> Numpty. <laughs> what are you doing, pal? He's only a baby. He's only a little. It's like a surrender flag. That was a good scene. I liked that. It was stupid. But great! And defied all the laws of gravity. But that's okay. <laughs> it's an animation. Oh, I never thought I'd live <laughs> to see the big top fall. I can't imagine. Who's bandaging the elephants? <laughs> oh, my face there. <laughs> Not a black eye. <laughs> like the spank She's got a sling. Out of him. <laughs> oh, oh. Do trunks have bones? Yes, come, yes. come, I demand to know. Well... Is that a block of ice? Made. Yeah, she's just got a headache. <laughs> I can't say it. Out with it! Made him a clown. A clown? They've made who a clown? Dumbo. How? Yeah. He's an elephant. From now on, he is no longer an elephant. Oh, that's deep, isn't it? That is deep. Like, honestly, the, one of the reasons you feel so sorry for Dumbo is because they just make his life horrible. It's good storytelling. Who threw, him, who threw them off? Oh, the... the fire engine. It's alive? Mm, some things we just don't question. I want to see that again. <laughs> We spoke recently about like, why are clowns, clowns scary? scary? Like, when were they not scary? Some of these clowns are creepy, but some of them, they're funny. Got some good gags in here. Good gags. <laughs> <laughs> they used to frustrate me though, because no one's actually putting out the fire. <laughs> that was good, I like that. Oh, Dumbo. Yeah, you're a big hit. <sighs> they literally throw trauma at that poor baby elephant. He gets bullied by humans, gets bullied by elephants. They get his mum taken away from him. He trips over his own ears. He's been made to feel like insecure and like irrelevant. He gets they labeled not, not an, an elephant. elephant. I thought that. That's, imagine someone's like, he is no longer a human. A human. <laughs> what the? That's, you can't get worse than that. Honestly. <laughs> I'll be like, what am I? An Who alien? am I? An alien? Like what? Maybe. I'd be sick. Maybe you're a lizard person. Oh. Peel off his skin! <laughs> she can break out of that. Just think she hasn't seen him since. Honestly, this film is so relatable for like young kids. Like when I was little watching this, what's the worst thing that could happen? You lose your parents. Right, your mum, your mum's not there. Not your dad! My biggest fear would be my mum's not there. My mum is cuddly, my dad is at work. <laughs> <laughs> so you think because as a kid you got a lot to relate to? Yeah, that fear of like not being with a parent. I mean that's like when you're an adult as well, though. No? Yeah, but I don't want like little cuddles like that anymore. Oh, I do. <laughs> Baby, Honestly, big tune, big tune. I feel like one of the reasons why Disney movies are so important to so many people is because they are a part of their growing up and when they think of the movies, they don't just think of the movie, they think of family, they've got like connections to individual people and sometimes when those people aren't there anymore, that's what you've got left. My nan was like a kid when it came out. Right. So true. then she then got to share that with me in the same way like with my nephews, I want to be able to share like The Lion King yeah. and Dumbo with them. It's like a legacy. Like, even the last time I saw my nan, she asked me, is Dumbo still a favorite? Yeah, cute. And it is, nan. Oh. See, not afraid to show emotion is our Timothy. Imagine a tear hanging off your finger. That's what I was doing. That tear was bigger than his body. <laughs> this is an emotional scene, that is. Mrs. Jumbo has it rough in this movie. 
No. <laughs> Boy, I can't get over the way we rolled them in the aisles. Just when we hit the big time! Just when we hit the big time! This is a good way to not have to animate too hard, isn't it? You've seen a lot of shadows in this movie, right? It's clever. But you got to pull yourself together. What would your mother think of you if she saw you crying like this? There are too many tears in this movie. A good drinking game for Dumbo would be every time you see a tear, take a shot. And the shot has to be at least the size of one of their tears. Yeah. And you have to do it in the eye. <laughs> The eye that the tear comes out of. Here, take a trunk full. I just wish she gets drunk. <laughs> Can he swim? He's not drowning, don't worry. Okay. Are the bubbles singing? Couple of lightweights, aren't they? They got drunk quick. <laughs> it's like you, mate. I am so intrigued to know what you're going to think of this sequence. I thought this used to scare you, this sequence. Oh! Petrified! <laughs> <laughs> Bamboozled. I thought this was going to be like a section of Fantasia. It's very similar to the hippos, that sequence. Similar style. But very different. But it's very similar. But also very different. It's like Fantasia, but on a budget, but so much more fun. Pink elephants. Look out, pink elephants on parade. Here they come. I don't know there's a song. They're here, and there are pink elephants everywhere. I can stand the sight of worms and look at microscopic germs, but Technicolor pachyderms is really too much for me. <laughs> okay, you hear that deep voice? Yeah. That voice is also the voice of Tony the Tiger. As in Frosties. You could say that fact was great. <laughs> Is that an actual fact? It's an actual fact. Right. Oh, that's crazy. This is the one. Cool though. Yeah, really cool. Also kind of really reminded me of like, if elephants had a Power Rangers Megazord, that would have been it. <laughs> Big elephants. Big elephants. Oh. Whoa. Sexy Jasmine could never. Went upstairs, there were no stairs there. That was cool. Ay, ay, ay! Not your butt. <laughs> oh, and also their cars. <laughs> now they're clouds. Edis, I would like your review on Pink Elephants on Parade, please. I thought that was really good. Right? Yeah, really good. Pink Elephants, one of my favourite bits of animation of all time ever. Your ears! Just look at them, Dumbo! Why? They're poisoning wings! The very things that held you down are gonna carry you up and up and up! The very things that held you down are gonna carry you up, up, up. Honestly, that is my favourite quote from any Disney movie ever. Wow. It sounds cheesy, but honestly, it's kind of the mentality that I've had with my life. It's like things that people don't like about you, those are gonna be the things that other people love about you. So don't listen to people when they say nasty things about you because just because they don't like that about you doesn't mean that anyone else isn't. And in fact, it could be the thing that makes you special and that someone else will love about you. So a TED talk with Ben. Right? Yeah, no, it's really true. And that's why he's my guy. Jiminy Cricket could never I would like to dethrone Jiminy Cricket from the top of his little conscience-like yeah. pyramid and show Tim Timothy some respect. We need to put some respect on Timothy's name. Damn. Well, what's all the rookers? Come on, step aside, brother. We have entered controversial corner, the infamous Crows of Dumbo. Uh, what's cooking around here? What's the good news? What's frying, boy? Just look down here, brother. So are these actual black actors? I think the main one who's literally named Jim Crow is a white actor and I think the rest are black. I'll double check that. But how do we feel about that then? Because if it was like truly like against black people, do you think they'd hire any black actors? I, I would love to have this conversation after we've watched 
what the crows actually do in the movie, okay. if that makes sense. Because yeah. at the moment, we're kind of just basing this off like what you've heard other people say, yeah. right? Yeah. And then we can like form our own opinions. Did you ever see an elephant fly? I've seen a horse fly. I've seen a dragon fly. <laughs> I've seen a house fly. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to do a special shout out for the clever lyrics in this song. Have you noticed them there? No. I've seen a horse fly. I've seen a horse fly. A horse fly. Is that, a, is that a real fly? Mm, that is. A horse fly. Yeah. And like a dragonfly? I've seen a dragonfly. All oh, right. It's okay. Wow. I saw a clothes on the rab and bug. And they tell me that a man made a vegetable truck. So these two crows here, they got the Jackson brothers in. So the Jackson brothers were these two dancers who appeared in some movies and stuff like the Nicholas brothers and they got them in and used them as reference. So not rotoscoping, they didn't draw over them. They just used their dances as inspiration for right. theirs. So it's like, if they were doing that, then how would they make it like with crow arms and right. things like that. It's just really cool. But I be done seen by everything. I see an elephant fly. So there's all this controversy surrounding the crows. Yes. Do you think it's warranted? Um, I personally, I don't know enough about like the crow laws and stuff, but do I think that that connects to that? I can't see it directly. I feel like that's fishing more than the roustabout song. In my eyes, the roustabout song is way worse than that because <sighs> it's not done in a negative tone. That's what I don't understand. I get that they're talking in that sort of vernacular, but was that accurate to how people spoke then? What? Question. But I guess the difference is why well, I was asking if they're not black actors, then you are mimicking something. Right. And I guess I'm pretty sure the main crow, I'm pretty sure he's a white guy and the rest are black. So even the fact that he's a white guy, that is bad. But what's interesting is everyone knows that this crow is called Jim Crow because it's so bad. They never actually say his name, name in the movie. Right. So I didn't know he was called Jim Crow uh. until I was much, much older. They are also some of the only people who are friendly, who are upbeat, and who are nice and encouraging to Dumbo. The thing is, like, acknowledge what is wrong about it, but also acknowledge what's good about it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think about the crows. So when editing this video, we realized there really isn't that much content on YouTube explaining the controversies that surround Dumbo. We've decided to do some more research on this topic and make a video specifically on why the crows have become such a taboo. So look out for that soon. Ah, oh, it's no use, Dumbo. I guess it's just another one of their... Look! Hot diggity! Hot diggity damn! Brother, now I've seen everything! <laughs> There's the money shot. It's really at the end of the movie, isn't it? He flies like halfway through the movie than the live action. I know, I remember watching it thinking, what are they gonna do for the next hour? Because that's the end of the story. That's what was, in a way, kind of cool about Dumbo because it like, it you fleshed know, it out a little bit. Look at that house. Dumbo, you're standing on the threshold of success. Don't look down. Look that is high. Got the magic feather? So you see they're calling it the magic feather? It's not really magic, is it? But what I never understood as a kid was they say it's a magic feather and then it the glows. feather goes, oh. so is it magic or not? Ah. Because obviously then we get the, oh, he just needed that to think he could do it. Yeah. It's like a placebo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does Dumbo ever fly about the feather? That sound effect. See, they put respect on his name. Look at him. What about his mum? There she is. Oh, cute. Disney animated classic number four completed. That was good. I think that was my favourite one. Yes! <laughs> I'm so happy. I was so scared you wasn't gonna like it. The beginning needs a bit of work. Oh, okay, what's your what are your notes? I'd say like stalks, the stalk, stalk section. That really bamboozled you. Yeah, huh? I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Thanks for watching our Dumbo movie reaction, and hopefully we see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.